I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. Something I'm very excited to get my hands on. It's a bottle of beer that I spotted in America, but not enough space in the case. So I did pick up another beer from them, which was their Simtra, which blew my socks off. And this is a bottle of Knee Deep Brewing Co. from California. It is their Hoptologist DIPA, so double IPA, 9% ABV. As I said, Simtra, I shared a, a, a little bit of a bottle share. Couple of, couple of us the beer tubers had. It, it was the last beer of the day, absolutely blew our socks off, really impressive. So I noticed when these were made available in the UK, so they're just this and Simtra. Wow, like more Simtra, I've got a bottle in my fridge. Really excited when a, a, a UK based distributor started um, distributing these two beers, so I had to get my hands on this. And I spotted it. I think, it, is it bulk conditioned? I think it is. Hopefully not. Anyway, bear in the glass. Yeah, nice kind of burnish golden colour. I mean, pretty much a perfect golden colour. Not that orange or yellow. Perfect gold. Nice, I'd say pure white froth on top. Looks good. So this is where it starts, really. West Coast IPA. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> yeah, this has not disappointed whatsoever. That is fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Big, fresh pine, massive, um, ripe grapefruit. Um, there's, oh, that pine is beautiful in it. Yeah, um, maybe a hint of cantaloupe melon. Oh, there's a, there's a cream cracker kind of malt backbone to it. Very, very soft, but kind of like smooth. Or oh, just a real fresh, lovely, full-on kind of like West Coast IPA. When you think of beers like um, what I had, at, um, some of the more traditional ones like Swami from um, um, Pete's Pot. Reminds me of those type of old-school, big, sharp, citrus IPA. That's fantastic. Lemon juice, big time. Loads of rind, orange, lemon. Oh, it's Beautiful, real tart, ship citrus zing to it. It really is. God, it's an IPA you can sniff all day long. <laughs> oh, I really can't though, can I? Got to dive in. Let's see what it's all about. It's a funny thing. It doesn't smell like double IPA. Once again, just like Simtra, which is 11.25, I think. Didn't sm taste like or smell like a, 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 a really heavy, strong beer. And this certainly doesn't either. So let's dive in. Cheers. Can't wait. Yeah, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. It reminds me of all those beers I was drinking in um, California. Definitely reminds me of Plant the Elder, without a doubt. I mean, the, what I'm going to remember drink, remember, remember drinking Pliny on on draft. Really reminds me of Pliny. It's two percent higher. Yes, you are getting a bit more meat to it. You mean, I do think you taste the nine percent, but it doesn't burn. It's just got a bit of authority about it. Oh, that's absolutely stonking. Right, focus, Rob. <laughs> what are the flavours in this? Mm. <laughs> Beautiful, big, kind of grassy note. Definitely loads of quite sharp puckery and grapefruit. That really leads the show. Big grapefruit, pithy orange, quite tart lemon going on. Mm. But it's that herbal, grassy, but banging, absolutely raging grapefruit that leads the charge on this one. Mm. Grapefruit is definitely in there. Sorry, pineapple's definitely in there. Once again, big pine, big fresh, lovely uh, kind of evergreen note in there. Mm. Oh, this brewery is good. Mm. Mild um, kind of. There's a there's a fizz of kind of lemon sherbet in there as well. Stupidly drinkable for nine percent. Maybe it's because of the dryness, that sharpness. That West Coast IPA is all about, it just keeps you coming back for more because it isn't too heavy. But I said, give it a bit of respect, it is 9% and it does punch its weight. 
but it's just so easy going, it just keeps coming back for more. I had um, a session IPA from Four Pure, 4.2% ABV, massively different end of the spectrum, but it was the same experience. Tasty, easy going, flavoursome to start with, then it ramps up that bitterness. It gets to that level where it's really quite sharp and, and um, cutting. It makes you want to go back for more because you know what's at the start of that drinking experience. And it's going to bring you back around to where you are. And you're going to come keep going around in circles. And it's a wonderful kind of secular experience. Mm. I cannot recommend this beer enough. I'm going to be boring people on Twitter about this beer tonight. No doubt. And it's an absolute storm. Another brilliant beer from Knee Deep Brewing Co. in... California, and in particular, it says Auburn Placer County, California. It's not, I think, I don't know where it is. Well, so, ah, brewed and bottled by blah blah blah. So, it looks like this was bottled on the 22nd of April, I think it's the 20th of June, so just under two months old. As with the Simtra, which was also about six weeks old, was still absolutely raging. What this is like. Uber fresh, couple of days out of the brewery. I have no idea. I bet it is absolutely off the chain. So, yes, I'm, I'm losing my way. Just something excited. <laughs> Hoptologist, double IPA from Needy Brewing, 9% ABV, absolutely incredible. Been um, distributed in the UK by Left Coast Distribution. The, you mean, the gate is, they're getting around, check them out. You mean, uh, I, I know uh, Beer Moth in Manchester are getting stuff from this uh, distribution company. I got this online at Beers Europe. It's out there. Get some, you will not regret it. I'm Rob from popzine.com. Stonkingly good IPA. See you next time. Cheers.